I got bad news. I got good news. last videos about the Marantz rack, you guys told me do not separate the devices. Leave them in the rack. And to be honest, I really tried to keep them together. I knew I wasn't going to keep all the devices or any of the any of the devices. So I offered the entire rack and I guess it's safe to say that the entire system is a 5k plus investment so you would have to spend at least 5,000 euros to get a, a system in that condition, with that history, with that documentation, as I got it right here. And to keep it together, I offered it for three and a half thousand. Do you think that is too much to ask for a first owner uh, mint condition uh, devices, tape, tuner, preamp, amp, and the rack, plus the documentation in pristine condition, plus the rack handles that go with them. I offered it, nobody wanted. I was lowballed a couple of times, pretty, pretty bad, which was like, uh, I give you 800 euros and I pick it up right away. Yeah, right. I don't really feel talking about money too much because this is more of a, an emotional uh, uh, subject. But I tried my best and it did not work out. So end of December... I took down the ad I had for the Marantz rack by itself. I figured I'd have to start there in order to not rip it apart. If somebody would just want to buy the rack, I would be good because the rack would be honored and somebody is would going to use it. Um, and put their own devices in it. Nobody wanted the wreck. Okay. So I figured, well, maybe I'm going to keep it. <sighs> I put the, the uh, advertisement for the wreck on pause so nobody could see it. And there was one follower who was following like four weeks and I'm like hmm, okay he's still following even though it's marked reserved and two weeks after I reserved it I got in the mail from a Polish guy asking me hey is this rack still for sale <laughs> and I'm like yeah, I guess it is. So, he bought it. And I'm going to disassemble the entire system again. And yesterday, I posted the tape deck uh, for sale. 
and there's already two people uh, wanting to buy it. A guy from the Netherlands and a guy from Germany. Uh, none of them responded back yet on uh, payment conditions. So whoever gets back to me first will get the tape deck. I guess that's it for the entirety of this Marantz rack and I'm really sorry to disappoint you guys. I really don't have the space for this huge thing to stand around here and I tried my best to sell it as a whole and it didn't work. So. I'm selling it one by one. Two pieces gone. Tuner will follow next. Preamp and pre preamp and amp will follow. And uh, I might hold on to the speakers because there's still some videos I want to do with them. I want to show them to you. They're very special. Uh, you'll see in, in uh, further uh, videos about that. Uh, let me know in the comment section if I did the right thing. Keep in mind that I'm really running low on space. I lost my uh, listening room three years ago. It's now the kids' room. And I can't put this uh, in... In, in close to hands of a three-year-old it yeah just not that's not gonna be good for either of them because if this gets broken and I come home <laughs> I'll have to be very bad to my little son <laughs> so I'm not taking that risk that's why it stays here at my shop. And uh, yeah, there you, I showed you some, some uh, videos of my shop. It's exploding off of uh, the hi-fi devices. Anyway, this is the last update on the Marantz rack as an entire piece. Uh, bear with me that I did what I did. Uh, I hope you liked the story and uh, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye. Oh, and also I documented all the devices by themselves. So um, you can watch them uh, here, I guess, or here, um, each device has gotten their own video. So go watch these.